Okay, so here we go. I have moved my uh, transmission and stuff, I think I said that in an earlier video, from over there. I brought it over here so I could work on it. I've got my heater on because it's like, uh, I don't know, three degrees outside. Uh, been some concerns over water from some of my viewers being in the bottom of this transmission. Well, I think that just kind of uh, answered the, uh, the debate that I had water in the transmission and that was what was causing it to lock up. Uh, the transmission was not locked up because of water, I can guarantee you that. Whew. I've got these hoses loosened up and I think I'm going to end up having to uh, really pry at that. I did have a visitor today, a couple of visitors, a young man and his girlfriend. I want to say that his name was Matt, and I am so terrible with names it's not funny, but his girlfriend, who seemed like a sweet young lady, I can't remember her name, so forgive me, forgive me, forgive me. Uh, anyway, yeah, they stopped by, they were YouTubers from up north, up out of upstate New York. Why the hell is this thing stuck on there? Anyway, so yeah. Ugh. Well, I'm gonna have to put the camera down here and try on that thing. Maybe. Oh, there it goes. That's the other thing. I want to pull on it, but I don't want to knock the whole transmission over. There we go. Okay. So I know some of the debate. I'm gonna point this at me now. Uh, some of the debate was that this tractor had. Uh, there's a lot more to this than what I'm saying about this tractor. Well, the fact of the matter is, there's not. belongs to a guy that uh, took this, took it to uh, Deer Country, and I'm going to say their name, Deer Country, I wasn't going to, but I am now, and uh, they did the work, they did the work uh, to tear it apart and diagnose the track, even though they never diagnosed the tractor. Which is fine, you know. Wanted to keep it to themselves, I guess. They just told the owner that the diagnosis of the tractor was going to cost them twelve thousand dollars to fix. And uh, did I take the work away from Deer Country? No, I didn't take it away. You know why I didn't take it away? Deer Country took the work away. Right, Tim? Deer Country took the work away by quoting a uh, $12,000 bill to a guy that, uh, hey, give me that nice new pry bar that you bought. He quoted a $12,000 bill to the guy and uh, they didn't give him a square answer. And of course, they didn't put the thing back together again because he told them that he wasn't going to, he told them that he wasn't going to pay $12,000. Oh my God. Am I missing a bolt someplace somewhere on here? No. That's weird. She should come right the hell off. Don't no, see. Yeah, there it is. She cracked. <laughs> Didn't get the camera on this thing. It's a bit of a bitch. Bitch, yeah, I don't understand why that ain't coming off of there very easy.
know what that thing does, right? Creeper gear. I don't think so. No? No. Okay, there's a spring there. Well, that's the detent ball. Well, we didn't destroy the seal. Say we pull this one off then. Because what we're gonna do, what we're gonna end up doing is see you gotta know where your synchronizers are. Your synchronizers are in here. Right here. So I'm gonna pull this apart. This is where the creeper gear is in here. And that is just a uh, There's supposed to be a big hole in there like that. Huh? That hole there's supposed to be like that. Yeah. Sure it is. Yep. Sure it is. Alright, so I'm gonna take this plate here off now. Or this this uh, section here. And what I'm thinking is I only really need to split it here and here. This can go that way. Because the synchronizers are behind there. Alright, alright, so yeah. Anyway, uh, John Deere was here today and we're under the, the same guys. We're doing good, you know. The the, the uh, mower is going to be on its way here in June or May and uh, I've been, uh, I'm going to be uh, going, I guess I'm supposed to go to the plant and do the plant tour. There's some guys that kind of want to talk with me out there, which is kind of nice, or I'd like to talk with them for that matter. Give me the uh, pliers. I need pliers. i got to pull that thing out of there. Okay. So let me... This is all connected here. I'm pretty sure it is. Because there's no detent, that won't go. Hey, that's where it's jammed up. Right here is where the synchronizers are, right behind there. Somebody say to me, or has made some comments that I have books on this tractor. I don't have books on this tractor. I haven't been reading anything. Um, I'm just going to tear it apart and find out what the problem is, and I'm going to fix it. Uh, if I need a book, I can download it off the internet, or I can borrow it from John Deere. Right, Tim? No, no, the John Deere was here. I can borrow it. They're good. They have seen the error of their ways. I thought so. So anyways, there's where my power shift pack, my clutch, or my synchronizer packs are. They're inside here and here. And uh, they should shift. That's what's getting me. I can't even see. They're, I don't know. We're going to find out.
Okay. That's one part. That's, this is not affected by anything. That thing is fine. Next thing to deal with is actually this part of the transmission, which is the shifting part of the transmission. Therefore, uh, this is what needs to be worked on. Uh, yeah, so this is going to all come off now. Woo That's doing good. So Mr. Tim is going to kill that thing, and we're going to get to work on taking it apart. Taking it, the rest of the oil lines will come off here, and then we're going to hook into her right here, right in that grounding wire. My battery's running low, so I'm going to go ahead and shut you down for now, and uh, yeah, be right back. You get it? Yes. Okay, good. Oh, yeah. Hey, you want a screw? No. Thank God. I mean, you'd be gay. Screw you. Screw me? No, screw you. You didn't want a screw. Anyway, uh, <laughs> Mr. Tim here has, uh, oh, wait a minute. Where's those wrenches? Extension. All that stuff. Get it broke apart. Get it broke apart so I can put it away. Hurry up before my battery dies. I don't want we can't get the transmission case. Ah, oh, what the hell? There it is. Drop it away. I'll hold it. That's all you got to do. Now I'm going to give you guys a little secret here. What the hell? Oh, there it is. Tell you guys a little secret other than somebody's calling. What happened? Oh, okay. So, um, my camera died from the cold. And now we have heated it up, right? Ah, oh, the fucking thing is hot. Uh, yeah, so we dropped away the uh, four-wheel drive unit pack, and we pulled out the casing there, and now this is what we've got. Synchronizers here and there. So what we're going to do is actually pull the uh, shifting forks off, which should be pretty easy. I think they're just, a, just this little plastic retainer here, which I'm not really concerned with too much. It should come right off. 